go. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Happy, happy Monday. Uh, it is our victory in this success and accountability call. I'm excited to see you all here. Everyone's kind of coming on. I'm Vanessa, your confidence and success coach and your host for this call. There's JC. Welcome, welcome. Well, uh, we're just getting used to this 10 a.m. slot here, <laughs> fitting ourselves back into this new um, routine. So thank you for those of you who can make it and who are here. I appreciate you all so much. There's Michelle. Um, so today I'm going to actually start with our um, with a little bit of information because last week uh, we didn't get to it because uh, you know we have a big group and I also want to remind you so as we get bigger I am going to probably start impl implementing breakout rooms but for now I would just say make your spiel nice and short if I ask you for one goal share one goal not 20 okay <laughs> Or share one win and not five, okay? So uh, today I wanna actually start. Hi, Stacia, welcome, Michelle. Oh, everybody's here, everyone's coming. Tommy, Tommy's joining us today. Good to see you, Tommy, welcome. Jeff is here. Okay, we are populating the screen. It looks good, Natalia's here. Oh, so good. How are you, Beatrice? Awesome, okay. So I'm going to just get started, seeing as we don't have a ton of time, I have to skip out of here at 1030 on the dot. Uh, so I'm going to start with those evening rituals that I've been promising you for a couple of weeks. Uh, and these are things that uh, I found really helps me in the evening. And uh, these are things that have also been proven to be things that people that are very successful and that do well in their businesses or do well in their lives, implement these habits. We all know that habits are so important. A few weeks ago, we talked about morning rituals. And so today I'm gonna share with you a few things you could be doing in the evening to help you be successful, be consistent and um, be tenacious, right? Which is what is important about uh, for all of us to be successful. So I'm going to just start there. And then when I'm done with that, we will go around, excuse me, and we will share our number one goal for the week. All right. So as you all know, as I just said, it's so important to have rituals, to have habits. So success habits are so important. A few weeks ago, we talked about morning rituals. So today I want to talk about a few things that the wealthy and successful find helpful to do in the evenings because the evening time is the perfect time to engage in rituals that help us with stress reduction, right? To get melt away the stress, give us perspective on our day's events and prepare ourselves for the next day. That's what I like most about the things I do at night before I get in bed because then I can go to sleep knowing that I know what the next day holds and that I feel ready and I feel prepared. So number one would be reflection time, right? Uh, time for yourself, whether it be, uh, you know, meditation or listening to subliminals or doing a little bit of yoga or maybe even a stroll outside, just, uh, just you and your thoughts just to kind of have some time for quiet introspection, right? So that's number one. And then number two, I have three questions that I like to ask myself in the evening. And here are my three questions. Number one is what was great about today? Do you ever ask yourself what was great about today? Well, what happened in your life today that was good, that was positive? My second question would be, what was my biggest challenge today? So just reflecting on those things that might have stopped me in my tracks, made me step back and go, oh, dear, right? What were those challenges that you dealt with during the day? And then number three would be, what was my biggest accomplishment today? And guys, I mean, it doesn't have to be anything huge, but find what that one thing was in the day 
that made you feel accomplished, that made you feel, whether it was just getting through your list of things to do or making those five uh, connections in the morning, whatever it might have been, pat yourself on the back and celebrate those wins, right? As you all know, I always talk about that. Uh, the third one I have here is read. You know, reading a chapter or a book or, or reading a, a paragraph, reading, uh, there's so many benefits to reading. And I personally, I'm not a huge reader, but I have made it a resolution to read more. And I have been. And and really, it's it's better. It makes for better sleep, um, improved cognitive function, higher emotional intelligence, and it lowers our stress levels, right? It takes our mind off of the the issues and the problems that stress us out. Now, I definitely prefer to still read a real book. Uh, sometimes reading on a bright screen can keep you up instead of calm you down. So I would suggest really still go back to that real paperback book and, and, and go read or, or find a Kindle that doesn't have bright light, okay? So awesome, that's a really good one. Um, the other one is treat yourself. Take a aromatherapy bubble bath or go, I think actually taking time for yourself and reading is a treat too, or even just that walk or that meditation or yoga, but find a way to treat yourself and celebrate your day. Okay. And then review your goals, guys. That's something we need to be doing on a daily basis. We need to look at our goals and go, what are those? Refresh your memory and see, you know, are your goals growing? Are they changing? Are they shifting? Are they the same? There's no judgment there. It's just a matter of keeping that in the front of mind because our goals is what drives us every day. So review your goals every night. Have them up on your mirror or on your wall somewhere and just look at them. Just give them a glance. The other thing is, you know, I know I'm terrible. I'm a bit of a late nighter. Now I say late nighter. I go to bed about 11, which is not bad. But, um, you know, try to go to bed earlier because aside from getting enough sleep, it's been proven that your most productive sleep is earlier in the evening, right? It's not the early morning sleep. It's the, it's the sleep before and maybe just right after midnight. Uh, so try to get to bed earlier. And if you struggle with that, you can condition yourself by just go five minutes earlier this week and then next week go five minutes earlier or 10 minutes and and condition yourself to get to bed at a decent hour and make sure you get a good um seven or eight hours sleep a night which I know can be challenging for us entrepreneurs <laughs> and then the last one I want to bring up here is a gratitude journal right there's so much to be said for being grateful but actually going and writing it down and and keeping tabs on all those things and, and conditioning your brain and teaching your body to have that gratefulness going on every day of your life. Uh, so yeah, I hope that's helpful. Those are some things I like to do. And those are things that have been proven to uh, proven things that other successful and wealthy people do. So I know a lot of you had joined while I was uh, going through that. I hope you caught it all. If you didn't, there'll be a recording and you can get it again. But welcome, welcome everyone that joined while I was doing that. And I'm so excited to have you all here. As I said, we I want you guys to focus on please when, when we go around as we get bigger as a group, um, make your goal short and sweet. Share with us what you want to share, but uh, don't don't carry on for too long because we don't have a lot of time, you guys, okay? So with that said, it is Monday morning. What is happening for you this week? What is it that you, number one, need to get done to feel accomplished this week? Mr. Peterson of Roberts, do you want to share? Yeah, so real quick. Uh, met with Rob and so tightening up my branding. And so that's my goal this week is to get my language uh, satisfactory to Mr. Raymond and working. Absolutely. And, and for you, right? I'm very excited about this for you, Robert. Fantastic. Fantastic. Noelle, what you got going on, girl? I uh, am working on a ghostwriting 
book. So try to put an ebook together. So trying to get that headed off and get a good start on that. Fantastic. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Love that for you. Ghost writing. Hmm, interesting. Okay, Kim. Yes. So my number one goal this week is to actually get my taxes done. Oh, that would be a big one. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. None of us like to do that, but it has to be done, right? So <laughs> awesome. Laura, how are things out there, girl? Doing good. Um, getting ready to launch this Friday is my very first um, self-care meetup group. So I know about got about 10 people and stuff, at least so far, coming from different um, different other different communities. So I'm putting that together this week. Well, Fantastic. It's together. I, I'm just fine tuning. <laughs> it is together. And congratulations. And so excited to hear how that went for you, Laura, when it's over. <laughs> awesome. Miss Sue Adams, good to have you here. Hello. Hello. I What's love the new one goal. Oh, I love the new time. And last week I didn't change my calendar. So it's my open. number one goal combination is my email marketing lead magnet landing page this week. Sounds like something I should be doing too, Sue. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well done okay well good luck with that let us know if you need any help lisa how are you today what's you got going on this week well i have a, a dilemma i would love some masterminding around it um i have the product that i'm bringing to market and i have an engineer who's starting to move again but i'm being told by my advisory board not to basically invest all my money in the product because you need money for marketing and the sales guy who does everything for retail is like, well, engage me a little bit. Let's get some sales going. But I have to have the like somewhat at least 3D printed version of the product done. And I'm stuck. Well, how do you spend money and get samples for him? So. Right. OK. Anybody have any thoughts on this? Um, Lisa, that might be something we need to run by the Robert Raymond. Because, you know, I have my ideas and my thoughts on that, but I am by no means an expert on that. So, um, you know, you guys, if and Kim, Kim has some. Just a quick thought um, and to really support more details would be helpful. And right. So if you want to connect, it would be a Kickstarter or something like that, where you actually generate income to bring it to market. Yeah, they cost about 60 grand to be successful right now. The Kickstarter? You can do them free, but for effective campaigns, when you don't have 100,000 in your network, it's 60 oh, grand so, video okay. to manage so, the entire So I know, I know authors that have done Kickstarters and didn't spend that kind of money, but sounds like you're more aware of some other things. So thank you, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think because it's a product, it, I, I like I said, I don't know the ins and outs on that. But Lisa, thanks for bringing that forward. And if any of you have any ideas on that for Lisa, please reach out to her and, and help her there. And uh, Lisa, yes, run that by Mr. Raymond. All right. Um, Beatrice, good morning. Good morning. God bless y'all. Hope everybody had a good weekend and you got refreshed and ready to go this week. On Saturday, I, I um, relaunched. Let me see if I can get in there. There you go. My book, um, How to Get Over Yourself and Let Go of the Past. It went well. Um, had a lot of great comments. Now I have to create my offer. So that's that's where I am right now. So create thank you. offer. Congratulations on the relaunch, uh, Beatrice. I'm glad it went well. And uh, yeah, let me know if you need help with that offer, okay? I'm here for you. JC, long time no see. <laughs> it's been an hour. <laughs> well, welcome to the second quarter of 2023. Um, I, my goal for this week is to finalize this uh, plan that we have for the authors in uh, Achieve uh, with Robert and, uh, of course, Jeff and you. So that's my, uh, that's my ultimate goal for this week. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah, you guys will soon learn more. Uh, we're tightening up our author package and adding some things. So it'll be great for those of you who are authoring books right now. Thank you, JC. 
Fantastic. Michelle, welcome, honey. Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, my number one goal this week is to finish handing out my card to the list of wholesale companies that I put down on Monday and I didn't finish. So that's my ultimate goal is to connect with all of them. Awesome. So you got majority done, I presume. I got majority done and my, and my goal, um, um, or my accomplishment is I actually had a, a massage therapist company, uh, reach out to me from Florida that wants to carry my product. So there you I go. have to finalize all that. So, and there I didn't reach out to her. She reached out to me. So, but yeah, I have to get through my list of the ones in Colorado Springs that I want to drop off cards to. Fantastic. Well done, Michelle. Well Thanks. Done. Congratulations. Thanks. Stacia. Hi, sweetie. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Getting ready for uh, the Connect and Collaborate group tomorrow. We're going to be doing the six C's and how they harm and take away from energy from you and how to correct that. So I'm super excited. Connect and Collaborate. I can, oh, and we're doing Zoom too, because I met with Lisa and she had such a great map of just thought process that I wanted to loop her in to the Zoom. So I could put my email in the chat if anybody wanted to join via Zoom. Please do, because I, I was kind of sad that I can't make it, but I might be able to make it on Zoom. Oh, that would be wonderful. Uh, I would love that. Or not. I have I have my TV interview with Sarah tomorrow morning. Oh, so. yeah. Well, that's important, too. I guess not. <laughs> I know you'll, you'll do fabulous. But well done and congratulations and uh, good luck. I know it's going to be awesome. Yes, thank you. Fabulous. Thank you, Stacia. All right, Tommy, so good to see you here today. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm glad you changed the schedule. This will be easier for me to make it now. So another one who's glad with the schedule change. Great to see you all. Hope you all having a wonderful Monday. Um, my goal for the week is to get the word out and invitations for our Connect and Collaborate event next Wednesday here in Westminster, Maryland, as we are, we've just kicked it off in January. So it'll be our fourth month. Um, we seem to be going pretty well. So I am going to be promoting that this week heavily. So that's my goal for this week. And I look Fantastic. forward to seeing everybody in June. Fantastic, Tommy. And yeah, we'll see you in June, right? Yes. Yes. Me and yes. Ted are both coming out. All right. Does everybody, give me a show of hands. Who here does not know Tommy? Okay. There's a few people. Tommy, quickly tell everybody what you do. So I am basically a marketing and branding expert. I make sure you look good. I make sure your colors match. You have quality products, whether that be your table cover, your banner. My motto is very simple. I can put time back in your day and take your stress away because when you only try to pay on price, eventually you will pay twice. So call me, TMWTP, Tommy, the man with the plan summers and get it right the first time. Thank Love you very much. Right. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. Yeah, you guys, those of you who need banners, uh, or any marketing materials for the June conference, Tommy is our guy, okay? He prints those for us. He's fast. He's he's great service, okay? So uh, stay in touch with Tommy. Jeff Ruiz. Ruiz. I never know how to say your last name. Ruiz? That's okay. I hear it all different ways. It's Ruiz. <laughs> Ruiz. Okay, yes. Ruiz. So I said it right. Okay, got it. Hello, Jeff. everyone. My My main goal this week is to get my processes automated. I need to automate my processes more and stop doing things so manually all the time. I, I need to get more efficient. So that's my goal, automation. That's a great goal. I had that call with Craig last week because I need to do the same thing. Uh, so it's, it's, quite a, it's quite a job, but I think worthwhile spending the time on. Yep, I'm on his calendar. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Thank you, Jeff. Kim, my love, you're up. I'm up. Hello, everybody, and may we all have a phenomenal week, better than we ever had dreamed of. Um, for me, it's following up on leads. I put a help wanted sign in my booth this weekend because I'm, I've got a lady who got a phenomenal offer um, to help her with her career, and I thought she'd be with me two more years. And she's not, and she's my main support. So, oh, so I'm I'm looking to to uh, 
find a new, more uh, even a credible person for shows and office and jewelry. And she does videos and things for me, which I think she'll continue with, which is my coaching part of the stuff. Yeah. Okay. I was just going to ask, what do you need them to do for you, Kim? Um, it, well, it could end up being two different people. It, it has to do with set up and take down at, at events. It has to do with potentially even sales. Uh, it could even, if somebody likes being crafty, could be doing simple things, making jewelry. It can be data entry. It can be being in the office, helping with whatever needs to get done here. Um, okay. So it's, it's just support foundation for for everything. Yeah. And I, I've done Craigslist. I've had lots of challenges with that since COVID. And I put a help wanted sign that I forgot I'd done years ago and had quite a number of um, people self, um, you know, self choosing or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. So, so I, you know, one step at a time and yeah. um, I need, you need it's got to be people that are great with detail because it's a lot of detail. It's fun, sparkly stuff, but it's a lot of detail. So, yes. Yeah. All right, Kim. So if anybody knows anybody, if you can think of anyone, you can send Kim's way that she can at least interview for the position. I'll let her know. Okay, you guys. Thanks, Kim. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, just put Wendy. my email in the chat. Thank you all. Thank you, Kim. Wendy, you're up. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I have two main goals. I have my first meeting today to set up my Pipeline Pro website through Craig and the Pipeline Pro system, which should be done in six weeks. So I'm kind of super excited about that. And just going through the videos that JC sent me and trying to finish up my second chapter. Congratulations. Awesome. Well done, Wendy. That book is coming along, I'm sure. Fantastic. All right, Katrina, welcome, girlfriend. How are you today? Doing pretty well, thank you. Excited for my week. Yeah, what's your number one goal for this week? Create my landing page. Okay, that's a good one. I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> what I got. All you got. Okay, well, and just so you guys know, um, Katrina and I are doing a workshop I don't even know when <laughs> I'll let you guys know when in May, in May, I'm doing a transverse activation workshop. And if you don't know what that is, I'll, I'll explain later, but I just want to let you guys know. So if you all want to come and work on your posture, on your flat stomach and all those good stuff, we're going to do that at Katrina's new studio. So it's going to be fun. Okay. If you're local, by the way. Oh, and we can probably broadcast it too. So we'll let you guys know the details of that. Thanks, Katrina. Liz, my darling. Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry I wasn't here last week. I was in sunny Mexico. So I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Happy and to I have, have you back. A, thank you. I have a solid morning routine, so I'm really feeling good about that. But the reminder today to self-care in the evening was really great. Thank you, Vanessa. Uh, our big, big, big deal this week is that we have a brand new website that's going live tomorrow at 11, 11 a.m. Anyone else who's into the weird number thing? Um, really super excited. So I guess our goal for the week would be to get as much engagement as possible on our new website. And I'm just going to throw it out there. How about 10 course sales or more by Friday? Absolutely. Why not? Right? Fabulous, Liz. And you guys support Liz on her new website. Go visit it and see it. Um, Liz, make sure you let us all know where it's going to be. Okay. Okay. we Will do. Thanks. Awesome. Fantastic. Jeff, how are you this morning? Jeff uh, Pearson. The other Jeff. The other Jeff. <laughs> Yes, I keep forgetting there's two of you here. <laughs> it's all right. No worries. Uh, so our big goal this week is to survive our first two TV shows. We start tomorrow. So, yes, pretty excited. It's going to be awesome. Uh, tomorrow will be Catherine and I on the show. And then uh, it, so, yeah. <laughs> and for her too, she's, I think we're both a little bit, we have all the technical stuff all figured out a little bit, but it's the, uh, it just the whole thing. <laughs> if, you, if you need a pep talk, call me tonight. Okay. <laughs> all right. I know how it can be those nerves and all those things. Um, 
Just take a little time before you go live and take some deep, deep breaths and just calm your nervous system. I have a great breathing exercise for that. So awesome. If you need some help with that. Let me know. I can shoot it your way tonight. Okay. Will do. Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. Fantastic. Congratulations. Ever, ever, never, ever, ever. Love you so much. Hello, girl. She's finding unmute. <laughs> you can do it. Bottom left. I'll come back to you. Figure it out. Noah, why don't you share your number one goal? We'll come back to Eva. Um, Noah's outside walking. There you are. My number one goal this week is uh, I'm doing um, trying to get my social media uh, stuff down with a new social media manager. I, the guy, the guy I was using it before wasn't really working out. For me. Okay. <laughs> You're breaking up a little bit, but I did hear social media, getting that social media with your new social media manager. Good luck with that. We're looking forward to seeing what that all is going to look like, Noah. Noah thank you. Thank you. Uh, Natalia, yes, thank you. share with us Thanks. your number one goal. Thank you, um, probably get real and refocus because I'm juggling a lot. And as a result, I'm frustrated with the lack of progress as I perceive in all of the things that I'm juggling. Okay. Especially when a portion of your day is spent on just, you know, being able to support self. And it's just completely not in line with the rest of the goals. It's just whatever income creation. So I need to move forward from that and need to figure out something real that will push me through okay sweetie yeah make a list make a list that always helps me and then uh prioritize see what 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 your priorities are and i know i know you're you're spending time and it's good take care of yourself first okay awesome mm -hmm. eva i see you are unmuted <laughs> yes thank you for doing that i'm on my phone and um I pulled over so that I could do this and I can't figure out how to use it, but all oh, good. Anyway, um, today, this week, um, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready to launch, uh, the one punch superstars. Um, I think I've lined up a couple of big names that will help with the launch. And so we begin on April 18th and that's my focus. Woohoo! Well done girl. One punch entrepreneur. Fantastic. Love it. Everything looks fabulous. You've done so much amazing work. Thank well, you. Well, thank you, Eva. Oliver, last but not least, my darling, would you like to share your number one goal for the week with us quick, quick here? Sure, I can do that. Okay, first of all, I just got back from my trip and I'm just now getting back into the business mode. So I guess my number one goal is to get everything back in focus and get to work here. So looking forward to that. I've been itching to do that. So, and then I did complete my business plan and I sent that off to Ava there. So I'm going to start taking pieces of that and start kind of uh, starting up myself, putting pieces of that together, like how I'm going to do the marketing and like the social media and talk to guys like Tommy here and um, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, so I'm glad to be back to work here. Fantastic, Oliver. Thank you for sharing. Yes, yes, yes. You guys, Thank you so much. You know, there's so much value in just voicing that goal. It gets clarity in your mind and it gives us all a, an opportunity to support you. So thank you all for being here on this Monday morning. I wish you the best, best week ahead. And I'll see you again next Monday morning, 10 a.m. Same time, same place. Mwah. Love you all. Have a beautiful week. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great week. Bye. Thanks.